How is it going, viewers? Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another GTA San Andreas walkthrough video. We are getting near the end of the game. I am combining two missions into one video because the first mission is not really a mission. It is just something that needs to be done in order to move the game forward. And I will explain things during the first mission. The second mission begins the necessary events to move forward on the Ocean's Eleven style heist CJ has planned with Woozy. So let's get on with the first mission, Fish in a Barrel. If you have finished all the missions before, you'll come to a point where there are no letters on the map and no other missions. In this case, you go back to the casino and where you would initially enter Woozy's missions, you enter here and the next mission begins. Mr. Ron Farley. <clears throat> Gentlemen, can I have your marks, please? Gentlemen, or shall I say partners? Mm. Oh, I drank to that. CJ has become partners in the Four Dragons Casino. And now new missions will open up for the player. And the first one is a call from Ken Rosenthal. Hello? Carl, it's me, Ken. The Leone family has made their move. Salvatore's here. Now, he's taken over Caligula's. We're screwed. It's war for control of Venturis, man. War. War. There's word of some triad visit or something that should keep them busy. I'm calling from the bathroom. I gotta go. I really gotta go. Salvatore Leone has taken over Caliglia's. And now this mission is the first mob mission that Salvatore gives to CJ. And it's necessary to do these missions in order to um, get the heist mission where CJ robs Caliglia's with Woozy and the other guys. And you got to get to Caliglia's, uh, basically save Ken and the British guys, and you know, do a favor for Salvatore. In this case, um, it's a fun mission, actually. And it's kind of crazy. But that's GTA San Andreas. It really never took itself seriously. And you did a lot of crazy things that you're wondering, okay, why am I doing this? And I'll walk you through this mission once we get to it. The mission is called free fall and you will get a good idea uh, once you begin this mission as to what is going on and I will now let the mission play through the preamble so you can get an idea top fucking buzz this I'm peeking on the blood pressure alone yeah terrific Well, well, well. What do we got here? Here's your sandwich. Who's this pretty thing? I don't usually do this kind of shit, you know. <laughs> I like this girl. What's your name, kid? Maria. And the service is not included. Hey, the woman, you fat fuck. You heard the bird. Come on. Are you kidding me? See you later, guys. And who's this asshole? The name's Carl Johnson, sir. Before working with Mr. Rosenberg here, I had the pleasure of doing business with your son, Joey, back in Liberty City. You know my Joey? I like that. So, kid, what can I do for you? 
Well, can't vouch for me. I'm a straight killer. Oh, but one man fucking army. A, a real dependable. Total fucking maniac, too. You know, the Ferrellis are sending over a crew to hit me. Their flight gets in soon. Traveling is a string quartet. <laughs> I was gonna send some of the boys over as a little welcoming committee. But uh, maybe you can take care of it. Thank you, sir. I guarantee you, you won't regret this. Uh, maybe I should go yeah! around. That, that you stay where you are, Rosenberg. I don't want you getting yourself lost. CJ now has to go to the airport, steal an airplane, or borrow an airplane, and fly it out to meet a jet that is carrying these uh, four musicians who are actually assassins, and somehow board the jet and kill the bad guys. Like I said, this is a crazy mission, and it's actually a lot of fun. Um, I will fast forward through the flight because it's fairly extensive. That's one of the things I was kind of upset about is how long it takes for CJ to fly all the way out. And they give you this small airplane in order to fly out there. The good part is in this hangar containing the airplane, if you need body armor, uh, you can grab the body armor in the back corner. But right now, I don't need body armor for CJ, so I'm just going to get into the plane and fly it out to intercept the other plane before it gets to Las Venturas. Okay, as the opposing plane approaches, you notice a red ring around, or a corona as it's called, that's behind the other plane. You have to get CJ's plane into the corona in order for the next event to happen. And it's kind of hard to get the same level as the plane and then kind of come in and get the corona, but once you do, it's kind of a rewarding event. Wasn't that spectacular? Now you got to come out and shoot these guys, and for some reason you are only given a pistol. And the body armor can withstand a lot of what these guys are shooting at you, so don't worry too much. They're only using pistols themselves, and you just kind of take down whatever guy pops up, and once you shoot them, they die. And this guy, boom, headshot. The other guy, he kind of is hitting you, you shoot him a couple times in the head, and you stun him and then take him down. Now you gotta deal with the pilot, which he comes out and he tries to shoot you, and you can gun him down again. Your body armor should be able to take the damage being done. Now you have to fly the plane back to Las Venturas Airport. Now, the only way you can kind of screw this mission up is if you can't get the plane into the Corona with in time and with enough time to where you end up in, uh, how can I say this? Well, you screw up, and then you got to start the mission all over again. Again, it's kind of an easy mission, a fun mission, and kind of crazy. So I'm going to fast forward through to where CJ lands the airplane and the mission is complete.
get that dossier? Yeah, I got the files. What you want me to do with them? Well, we need to meet up someplace quiet and take care of things. There's a ghost town, Las Brujas in the Devil's Castle. You know it? Yeah, I'll find it. I know you will. I'll see you there. Carl. Well, Ten Penny keeps turning up like a bad penny. And if you've done the mission, misappropriation, and you have the dossier, or dossier, or whatever you want to call it, Ten Penny wants it. And yeah, he's a douchebag. So you've killed the assassins for Salvatore. And again, you got to do this next mission for Ten Penny or involving Ten Penny in order to move on to the next mission for Salvatore. You're all kind of linked, and you got to do all these missions in order in order to get to the main casino heist. And you know, hey, we're getting near the end of the game. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, thanking my subscribers. Um, I don't know if I've made it to 100 yet, but again, this is why I keep enjoying doing this. If people keep subscribing and liking my channel, maybe I can monetize it. As always, thanks for stopping by.